All right, man. So look, today, 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 I was not about to film a video, y'all. I promise you. I was not going to film a video only because I post every other day now. But I came across this video on TikTok. And this is just, it just really disturbed me because I did not see this story on the news. I didn't see this story nowhere. I even looked it up online. And I did not see the story anywhere. Now, I don't know if y'all heard about this story. This is the backstory of uh, this video actually went viral on TikTok. And basically, I'm going to let the person that made the video explain what happened. Uh, but... It was just crazy, bro. It's crazy. Like, I'm just getting my uh, whole thoughts on it, man. This world is just ridiculous, bro. Like, this world is really, really toxic, for real. So, look, we finna go ahead and check it out, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it, man. Uh, let, me, let me go ahead and mute that real quick. I'm gonna just mute it just so, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? This would be tripping, but look. All right, come on, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and watch this. Man. Look at the bro. Look at the bullet hole, bro. Like, but he really shot through the glass. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. They got the whole entire army. Like, look at this. Look at the bro. Did y'all see the blood on the floor? This is a real school shooting, bro. A real school shooting that I have not seen on the news, bro. Look at the blood on the floor right here. Look at the blood, bro. This is crazy. Everybody evacuating the building. Now, look, this is what he uh, started to explain everything and how the video went down. Shout out to him, by the way, man. But we can see how the video went down. The video I just showed got 20 million views on TikTok, and a lot of people sent me the video wondering what happened at the school and why all the kids are evacuating. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know. The situation took place a couple days ago on October 2nd at a secondary school called Yes Prep Southwest. This 25-year-old and former student of the school, Dexter Kelsey, arrived at the school with a gun looking for a staff member that he had a grudge against since 2015. Since 2015, bro? Are you, you had a grudge? That's how much hate you had in your heart towards this principal? You had a grudge against him since 2015? Do you not know what year we're in right now? We are in 2021. You telling me you had a grudge for this long, for this many years. I don't know what this principal done did to you, teacher, whoever you shot. I don't know what they done did to you, but bro, this is why I say life is short. You you holding a grudge for what? Now this grudge done got you locked up. Like, this man is living his life. He don't even remember what he did this amount of years ago. And you hold this, you held this grudge, came into this school, not just with him alone, but you came into the school other kids are in this school other students learning trying to get an education trying not to be like you like look you're, like some you don't even look put together bro you look like you're like you have something mental wrong with you and i'm not saying that to be disrespectful i'm actually like look at him i mean he actually looks like he got something wrong with him i mean he look he don't look mentally stable he looks like he's going through some type of trauma and whatever trauma you went through, you put other kids' lives in danger to kill someone you had a grudge against since 2015. What type of pathetic stuff? That's why I say this world is toxic. Like, what was your point? Well, come on, we finna finish watching this video. Like, I'm just curious on what was your point. 2015. Dexter began to open fire, breaking the... And this how you looked. And you had a grudge against this man since 2015. Glass in the building doors, and the principal, Eric Espinosa, quickly tried to alert the teachers and students, and he ended up getting shot in the lower back. Police quickly arrived to the school and eventually. That's, that's explains the blood. They arrested Dexter. Thankfully, no one else was harmed, and all the teachers and students are okay, and the principal. Now, now, the people he said, he said the police arrived to the school as soon as possible and arrested Dexter. They arrested this man, right? I'm curious on why this story wasn't on the news. I'm, I'm, I'm real life curious on why this story was not moving. I don't know if y'all seen it. I didn't see it on the news. I even asked my mother, did she see it on the news? She said, no, I even looked it up and they didn't show this. I wonder, and this is me, hypothetically speaking. I wonder if they would have shot that black man because of what he did. And would they have, you know, all the past school shootings with the white kids. And I believe it was a white student that shot up a school before and all he did was arrest him. I wonder if they would have used that story if that's if these police officers would have shot this black guy and then you know killed him or something. 
I want to know if they would use it. Oh, but if he was white, he would just been arrested. Oh, but did, but since he was arrested, now the story ain't trending. I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking from how the world thinks. I mean, like, let's be honest. They see, they see a white guy show up to school, then they get arrested. They see a black guy show up to school, and everybody expect the police to shoot that black guy, so everybody can say Black Lives Matter. Oh, but when he shot up that school, he only got arrested. But since a black guy shot up the school, y'all kill him. I just know. I know that's how the story would have went if it went down like that. But that man went to jail. Now the whole point of making this video is, bro, it's a, it's a, it's a lesson to be learned from this. Stop holding grudges against people. What, what's your point of holding grudges? You holding all this? You holding so much negative things and grudges towards others when they not even worry about you years later? Like. Just live your life. And plus, we're supposed to always love one another, treat one another as we would want to be treated, not hold a grudge against them. We're supposed to always forgive others. God forgave us for our sins. We should forgive others. I mean, no matter what that principal done did to you, bro, forgive him. He Like, now you finna be locked up, and that was murder. That was attempted murder because you shot him in the lower back. So attempted murder, now you got that against your name. Now you finna be locked up for some years. I mean, like, bro, it's, it's like... I'm, I'm just honestly confused. I'm confused on what was your point of going to the school? How did you even get into the school? Because I know my old school, we had to, it was hard to get into the old school. Like, you, I guess you had to have an ID, scan it with the wool. I don't know, man. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this video. Like I said, I wasn't going to film today, but y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this video because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. You held a grudge against a man, shot his lower back, and you just didn't care. You didn't care. You look like you just had so much anger in you. Why do you have so much anger? You putting other kids' lives in danger. And then on top of that, they didn't even put this on the news. They didn't show this or nothing. This video went viral on TikTok. Over 4 point some million likes. Over 20 million views. It went viral on TikTok. That's an actual school. Yeah, it was not. I didn't see it on the news. I didn't see it. I didn't see it at all. When you look up sh school shootings recently, I didn't see that pop up. I'm just saying. Anyways, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and get off this video, man. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, let me know y'all thoughts down below. Like, let me know y'all thoughts on people holding grudges against each other. Let me know y'all thoughts on just this video in general. And was my statement right? Like, if that black guy would have got shot and got killed, it would have been trending everywhere, trending everywhere. Oh, that white guy shot up to school, he got arrested. Oh, but now black guy shot up to school, now y'all want to kill. Like, it would have been everywhere. Trust me, trust me. That's just how this world work. They don't care. Black Lives Matter, this and that. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> black Lives Matter, but black people doing this. Some black people doing this. I'm not the type to go kill somebody, but some people, some black people doing this. Dumb. Anyways, man, like I said, I'm finna get off this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, it's been your boy, Depend. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. <sighs>